now i am going to work with the text watermark system if you want you can put a text over an image as a watermark so how you can do that i am going to show you i am now going to make it off okay okay so in order to do that i can go to check the text function okay there are two functions uh, so i am going to check the uh, text function because the text function is used to do that so i am going to the website official website of them image intervention then i am going to check the text this one so from the left side go to text and you will see that there is an example here i will just use the example given here like this so i am just going to copy this one from here and i am going to paste it here so that my uh, code is reduced to write here it will be ems here it will be ems so i am going to check for example i have another image that i copied in the first that is main2.jpg so over this image i will apply the uh, watermark okay so here my first task is uh, the public uploads here i will call the main 2.jpg and i get i uh, put it uh, into a variable that is image variable and here i am going to call the image of text so image of text you see that this is the main thing here which text you will put on image just uh, give here for example i am going to give my name here this one i will put on text and here for example i give something like 200 100 like this and there is a font so this is very important i am going to call a uh, font here a here font file you see that here will be a font and here i i copied a font you see that into the uploads folder you can download any font any font ttf file and just put it in any place and then you just locate it here so in my case it is the uh, public path and here uh, into the uploads my font name is arial.ttf so arial.ttf this is my font you can change uh, your font also whatever you want that is not a problem at all for example if you want that google font you want google font and if you want that uh, you can go here and search for example poppins font go here just download the font family and uh, you can also go to see that in the finder and this is the poppins after unzip here is a poppins and here you see that poppins regular i am going to copy this font you can also copy it uh, from there and paste it for example in my main project there is a public then uploads and here i can just paste it so in this case my font new font i added here that is poppins regular so here i can call poppins or regular dot ttf then the poppins font will be installed here so in this way you can just add the fonts so this is one thing that is font file so there is font size here i can give here for example 30 here is font color i can give here a black color here is font align just center and v align top or bottom you can give top or you can give bottom or you can also give it as a center whatever you want and there is angle angle is not needed i do not want to make the watermark angle now top is okay so if this is okay here i will just save this photo and here for example i am going to give here a name final watermark text for example final watermark text this photo will be created now i am going to run my application let's check what has happened a new photo comes final watermark text you see that over the photo my name is coming here that is Murshid Larifin. So you can just uh, make, uh, if you increase it, for example, 400, you will see that from the left side, 400 pixel will be removed from the, uh, from the left side. It will start from after the 400 pixel. 
and in that case if I open this photo again you see that from left side 400 pixel comes so uh, it is okay you can also reduce the uh, space from the top if you want so in that case you just uh, make it instead of 100 you can give it 50 and then just reload and then again open the photo you see that this space is reduced so in this way over the photo you can just put your text into any place if you want that the text color you will change you can also do that so in that case you will have to call the color code you have you will have to change the code so now if i run it again and then if i open the photo you see that the color is now white so you see that the watermark is working so this is very easy and i hope you have understood